Hey guys, it's JDog here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play with your friends on Agario. So right here is the default Agario look. And it's pretty simplistic. There isn't any way for you to buddy up with your friends, play in the same server or anything like that. And there have been a lot of people who have been asking me, Oh man, Jordan, I see you're playing Agario. How do I do that with you? And the answer is the new Agario mod from agariomods.com. Now, before I show you how to install it, uh, I want to give a rundown on what mods can and can't do. So, there are some mods that were in the beginning of the lifespan of the game that allowed you to do things like zooming out farther than you are allowed to, or showing the mass of other players. These are illegal operations that do not adhere to the guidelines laid out by the creators and the moderation team at r slash agario. And for this reason, it is considered cheating, and openly cheating in a multiplayer game is against Twitch Terms of Service. So by playing with one of these illegal mods, you can actually get in big trouble on Twitch, which nobody wants to do. So we can use this mod, which strictly adheres to those guidelines, and is just a really great mod all around. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to agariomods.com. This is the homepage of the mod we're using, and... By the way, this is going to be a Google Chrome only tutorial because the Chrome Web Store has this easily installable from their store and I'm not sure if it's on the Firefox store yet or not. I will be making a separate tutorial for the Firefox users. So, rundown of a feature list. It complies to the rules of no cheating. You can connect with your friends. You can turn on background music and sound effects. And you can use acid mode, which I find to be really fun. So we're going to want to go to agariomods.com and then click on this banner right here, available in the Chrome Web Store. That will redirect you here to this website, where you can actually add it directly into Chrome. So we're going to add it to Chrome. It's going to ask us, do we want to add this because it can read and change our data on our website? We say, yeah, that's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. You click Add, and the little A shows up in your taskbar. Now, don't be alarmed. This uh, A will only show up in agar.io. So like these three tabs right here on three different websites, the A doesn't show up. And a lot of people will say, oh wait, it's broken. No, it is not broken. It only shows up in Agario. So you see this, and it says the, the Agario Mods Evergreen script is enabled, which is what we want. Now what we can do is if you click on this A, you reload the page, it'll bring you back to the default look without any of the bells and whistles. So this mod actually allows you to easily enable and disable it. So a rundown of features of this mod. It automatically tells you which server you're playing on and allows you to put in the server of your friends, making it really easy to play with your friends. You can turn off skins if that doesn't float your boat. Some people don't like skins. You can turn off people's names. This is all default stuff. You can turn on the dark theme, which I really like. And you can make everything grayscale, if you really want to. And then acid mode just puts this nice little trail behind everything. I think it looks really cool. But it's like, oh man, I'm tripping on acid. Look at that. Ha ha ha, so funny. And then you can actually show a chart right here. You know, it'll draw a plot, a little graph for you on how you're doing based on what kind of stuff you're eating over time. Now, I do want to note that sound effects and background music are actually enabled by default. I don't know why. So you can hear that it plays this background music and makes noise every time you eat a pellet. Personally, I find that incredibly annoying. So... Like most, I think that most other people would also find it annoying, so I'm giving you warning right now. Turn sound effects and background music all the way down, unless you want to hear them. Uh, also, disable your ad blocker on this page, because I have done some testing and it really does mess around with the, with the code. It does not allow it to function correctly, and it will screw this up, so just take its warning and disable your ad blocker for the page. <clears throat> you can see that I've got mine grayed out. Adblock is disabled for this site. 
Not only does it give revenue to the people who made Agario, but it also doesn't fuck up the mod, so I think that's a win-win in my book. So now that we have it installed, we, all, we obviously have to connect to a game server with our friends on it. So I'm going to open up a new Agario tab, and I'm going to pretend that I'm playing with my friend. My friend is on this server, 167, 114, 174, 64, port 1507. Awesome. Now they give me this. And I go in here, I'm on a different server with a different leaderboard. Put this in here and I paste it and I hit this little refresh arrow thing. Now, you can see that it sent me to the wrong one. We're in the correct server. This is the same server we got here, same server our friend is on. So what's the problem? Well, each server actually has multiple rooms multiple games going on at the same time. So if you get a different leaderboard, I advise you to refresh. You see how it's constantly dumping me in the same board? That's because there are a bunch of games on the server that are full and it's skipping over them and dumping me in the, like, the next available game. So the game with Stalin and Russia and Cookie Go is full at the moment. So if you want to play the game with your friend, unfortunately, even with the mod, you're going to have to continually refresh until you can get in the correct server. Sometimes if it hangs like this, it will actually spit you out into a different server. So you really do have to be aware of what server you're currently on. Because even if you tell it to go to this one, if it can't connect immediately, it will jump to a different room or even a different server. And if you're not aware of that, you can be constantly refreshing a different server and not furthering your goal of getting in the game with your friend. So doing this, unfortunately you have to continually refresh. That's all you can do. Actually, I was just in it and I refreshed out of it. And you can see it actually had a pop-up and it sent me to a different server completely. So you do have to be aware of that. <clears throat> the last thing I want to go over is that you can actually import your own custom skins from ImageUR. So I was, you know, derping around image UR and I found this. It's like, oh, that's a funny picture. What you do is you copy the tag or the image identifying tag right here. What you do is if you want that to be your skin for this game, all you do is in your name box type I forward slash and then post the tag. And when you play, it will actually load the picture directly from image UR and make that as your page or as your skin. Now people without the mod can't see it, so normal users will just see your name as I forward slash and then a bunch of numbers and letters. But if you're playing with a bunch of people who have the mod, it can get pretty silly with who can find the funniest picture. So this, um, remember this one only works for Chrome currently. I'm going to make a tutorial for the Firefox users at a later date. I will put all the relevant links in the description and you can always ask questions in the comment section. Uh, I'll try my best to answer them. And if you think I missed anything, please tell me, and I will edit the video and update it. So until then, this is JDog signing off, uh, and thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.